Yes, that's right. You have read that video title correct. We are selling this car for a pound. Now then, this car has over six months MOT. It's got four legal tires. It starts, it runs, and it drives. Also, this is not a raffle. This is not a giveaway. You don't have to like or share or follow or subscribe. You just have to be in the right place at the right time. And even in this video, I'm gonna be telling you what the right time is and what the right place is. It really is that simple. Let's look at the car in a little bit more depth and tell you some more. Now when you're putting this sort of money down on a vehicle, I would expect a level of reliability. So therefore I've gone out and I've bought you a brand new battery. So let's get that fitted. Sorted. One less thing to worry about. Right, we will start under the bonnet. We have given this car a full service, including oil, oil filter, air filter, and spark plugs. We've also documented that into a video, which is over on our channel in a playlist. So if you want to see any of the work we've done to the car over the last month or so, you can head on over and have a watch. Cosmetically, we've done some vinyl wrapping to the car. Now our first attempt didn't go too well. Oh no! Ah! <laughs> No! But our second attempt with our new approach did. So we have vinyl wrapped in gloss black, the roof, and also the wing mirror covers. We also had a pretty major issue with water ingress. But we've now rectified that by resealing the bulkhead plate on the car. There's also a video on that that you can head across and have a little watch on. Now since then we've had a hell of a lot of rain and the car has been outside apart from this week in the garage. And it's not letting any water in the back but there's still a tiny bit of water coming out the front, but I'll tell you more about that when we look at the car in more detail. So now we've had a little look at the work that we've done to the car, it's time to hop in, get her fired up, and go for a drive around the block. Right, on the road, the car changes gear nicely, it drives nicely, it brakes well, there's no knocks and squeaks and bangs, and the steering is super light, and also the clutches too. It accelerates fine, it brakes fine, all the gears work well and always find it's a very nice drive to be fair despite the fact it is a Vauxhall but never mind right let's head back to the garage and have a look at the car cosmetically in a bit more depth right let's have a little look at the cosmetic side of things front of the car paintwork is not too bad in fairness it's all right a bit of milkiness on the headlights. I'm sure that'll polish out. Moving forward, the roof, as you know, we vinyl wrapped it in two pieces and we've got a run of stickers going down the middle of it. Down the side, it's not in the worst condition in the world in all fairness. It's the comfort model. What that means, I don't know. I'm assuming it's more comfortable than the normal one. Mucky, curbed hubcaps. What can you do? I've given them a wash, they've come up okay. Given the glass a good clean. Hello guys, it's all good in here. Um, at the back, better, because obviously it's on drums at the back, I'm assuming. Now they're moving back. Someone has put some very weird paint on the back of this bumper. I've tried to scuff it off, but it's not all come off. So that's gonna need a bit of a bit of a paint over. But you know, I can't take away all the work from you, can I? Um, bit of lacquer peel on the roof and trust me when I say it this car has a good side and a bad side this is the good side let's move on round the back and again we've got that obscure painted stuff on the bumper something that you can cover up I'm sure fantastic use of a self-tapping screw and then I don't know bit of a scuff bit of a scrape another screw there which is obviously holding the light in so I'll let you look into that as deeply as you want to. Regal, Vauxhall Nuts, tuning company? Who knows? Who knows? Rear wiper blade, non-existent. A little bit more of our epic vinyl wrapping work, which again, come out relatively well. Now then coming around to the bad side. If this car was getting a profile picture for Facebook or Tinder, she would not be using this side, mm -mm, because this is her bad side. 
lacquer has all but fallen off all down the top and down the doors but down the side no massive parking dents relatively straight more lacquer peel on the doors at the top of the doors and round and then more lacquer peel there and also voxel when you painted your cars in the factory why did you not just take the wings off and paint in behind it it's the same on both sides poor form little bit of a mark on the wing there and again scuffed mucky hubcaps front bumper all okay no damage it is all good so overall in parts it's good in parts it's not but lacquer peel is lacquer peel what can you do for a quid let's go and take a little look inside and see how she scrubs up internally right inside the car a few stains on the seats as you'd expect a bit of wear on the gear stick gator and a little bit of wear on the handbrake gator interior plastics are as you'd expect they're not too bad door cards are flapping a little bit probably because it's spent quite a long time being quite wet inside now i was talking about that little bit of wetness as well i found moisture around here when i opened the door the other day so potentially this seal might need replacing but i'll leave that one up to you because there is a little bit of moisture in here but like i say at the back where it was soaking wet before it's now pretty good same with that door card over there that's starting to pop now then let's have a quick look in the back manual windows in the back because race car and obviously door cards have got a little bit damp again rear seats are fine let's have a quick squeeze in the boot it's all right i suppose it's not too bad carpets intact spare wheel underneath boot struts work um door shuts have all cleaned up pretty nicely to be fair all inside of the doors all sort of good right then let's look at the technology inside the car we have electric windows at the front we have a fantastic cassette player and we even have aircon whether it works out i wouldn't like to say wind down windows as we said in the back and as for tech yeah i'm pretty much all out of options that's all we have now then the bad parts of which there are only a few really but last time i checked when you buy a car to drive away for one pound only you don't get perfection now the first thing is the timing chain i've had this car running today so it's warm so it will be pretty quiet but first starts on a cold morning the timing chain can be a bit noisy but then it settles it's been like it for years and that's what it is i'll start it up and you can have a little listen to it I agree, James, am I going to be able to handle that horsepower? Probably yes. The second thing is I've had a few issues with this car not starting. Now I have rectified those issues. I've just done a video which will also be out today for you to have a little look at about the grounds that I've checked and I've run an additional ECU ground and I've also replaced the throttle pedal. Now that has sorted the car and fixed it. It's working first time every time, whereas before last week it was intermittent. I've also bought a good second-hand throttle body, and that goes with the car. So the car comes with spares. It's looking like a good deal for a quid, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now, the final negative is the radio. When the battery went flat, the old battery, because as you saw at the start of this video, I've popped in a new battery. When I've put the new battery back on, I now need the radio code and I can't find it. And I spoke to the previous owner, he's a good mate of mine, and he doesn't know it. I've checked all through the handbook and I can't find it. Now there are certain companies online that say, send us a serial number of your radio and we will give you a code for free. I've tried that, they're lying. You have to go back to Vauxhall or go to other companies and you've got to pay about 30 quid to get the code. Now, 
that sort of price point, 30 quid, you could probably get yourself a second hand head unit and pop it in. So unfortunately, no banging tunes for your drive home. So that's all there is to it. I mean, obviously I'm selling the car for a pound with six months MOT and you get to drive it home. So it will be sold as fares of repairs. But if you want to return the car, I'll just give you a one pound refund. You can keep it, all right? Now, how can you be the lucky person that gets hold of this car for a pound? To keep it as fair as possible, today is Saturday the 7th of December. Now in exactly one week's time, on Saturday the 14th of December, this car will appear on eBay. It will be in the cars section, and I will call it Vauxhall Corsa, and then maybe something along the lines of Vauxhall Corsa Resto Nation Bargain Car, something along those lines. And in the pictures in the listing, I will put the Resto Nation logo so you'll make it easier to find. I will start the bidding at 99p and it will be a buy it now for a quid. Now here's the tricky part. This is where you need to be lucky. The car will appear on eBay between 10 a.m. GMT, Saturday the 14th of December, and 10.15 a.m. So that could go on at 10.01, it could go on at 10.14, it could go on at 10.07. No, it won't be on at 10.07. But it will be on between 10 and 10.15 on Saturday morning. All you have to do, as I said at the start of the video, is be in the right place at the right time. So if you're on eBay refreshing, 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 and you find this particular car, 99p start, click on it, buy it now, pound, the car is yours. You drive it away, you get all the handbooks, and there is actually service history with this car. I'll put a little bit of that at the beginning if I get a chance. But there is actually a little bit of service history. Um, that's all there is to it, guys. Like I say, you don't have to share this video, you don't have to like it, but if you did, I won't stop you. But at the same time, tell your friends. If there's a couple of you sat there on the computer, on your phone, refresh, 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 between 10 a.m. and 10.15 a.m. on Saturday the 14th of December, I cannot say it enough. You get yourself a car with six months MOT that starts, runs and drives, that you can drive home, for a pound. And if you don't like it and it breaks down on you, I'll give you a pound back. Full refund and you keep the car. But don't take the piss, guys. Because it's only a quid. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to share it, you can also share it. If you want to see more from us, don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful week. Good luck. And hopefully I'll be seeing the lucky, lucky owner next week. Take care. I may have run out of fuel. Time to push it home. Don't mind me just pushing this car home to put some fuel in it. This next section is uphill. Like, really uphill. I knew I should have put a fiver in it. Time to try again. First time every time. Oh, what a lovely drive.